Okay, now the distance formula is a little more involved. It comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, it comes from setting up a right triangle. That's where the whole square root and squaring and adding and all that stuff comes from. It comes from the Pythagorean theorem. I'm, I'm not necessarily going to show you that, but I did just want to mention that. So we've still got the same setup. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, but here's your distance formula. It's kind of like slope. We subtract the X values. Then we square them. We subtract the y values, square those, add those two results together, and then take the square root of the whole thing. Okay, so let's just get into it and uh, start practicing. Okay, so finding the distance between the point 5, 3, and 9, 9, I highly encourage that you label <clears throat> so that when you're looking at your equation, you can just plug in the pieces, okay? So, distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2. Now, technically, the order of that really doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter whether you do 5 minus 9 or 9 minus 5. When you square it, you're going to get the same thing. Because 5 minus 9 is negative 4. 9 minus 5 is positive 4. Negative 4 and positive 4 squared give you the same thing, okay? So, the order really doesn't matter. So, so you get the x's together and the y's together. 3 minus 9 and square that. And we're taking the square root of all of that. Um, now, I suggest um, that you leave the square root. Okay? You can type everything else in except for the square root. Okay? Type everything else in except for the square root. So parentheses, 5 minus 9 squared plus parentheses 3 minus 9 squared. Okay, so 52 is the number under our square root. 52 is not a perfect square. Now let me take this opportunity to go back over simplifying square roots. We want to see is there a perfect square that goes into 52. Um, so I'm thinking 4. Okay, so 52 is 4 times 13. We can take the square root of 4. It is 2. So it comes out of the square root. 13 is not a perfect square. It's not divisible by a perfect square. So it stays under the square root. Okay, so you're looking at the list right here. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Those are our options there for perfect squares. Um, and it keeps going, all right? So you're trying to see which one of those evenly divides into my number. 4 times 13 gives me 52. I can take the square root of 4. It is 2, so it comes out. So 13 stays up. Um, I think the answer key has been in this form. That's why I wanted to, to go back over that. Um, but if you wanted to know a numerical distance, you can just type that into your calculator, 2 square root of 13. And that's also a good way to check and see if you simplified it correctly. Okay, if you simplified it correctly, then that answer should be the same answer as the square root of 52. So they both give us 7.211. Um, so we did simplify it correctly. But anyways, you need to know how to, how to do both of those. You need to know how to simplify square roots. But then you also need to have an idea that those are a little more than seven units apart. Okay? All right, let's do another one. Number 14. Our points are 8, negative 8, and 0, 1. So again, label them. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Our distance is the square root of 8 minus 0 squared plus negative 8 minus 1 squared. Type everything but the square root into our calculator. And really, you don't need to do 8 minus 0. That's 8. 8 squared plus negative 8 minus 1 squared gives us 145. 
Okay, we got to find the perfect square division of 145. How about, uh, it's not going to go on 9. It's probably not going to be divisible by 16. It's not 25. Probably not 36. How about 4? Nope. Okay, it does not look like it's divisible by another perfect square, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. Not all radicals are able to be reduced. <clears throat> so we'll just leave it like that, and that is approximately 12.042 for the distance. Okay. <clears throat> now, I did say that you don't have to type in 8 minus 0. Can just do 8 squared since 8 minus 0 is 8. The only thing you got to be careful with that is if that were negative 8, you have to put it in parentheses before you square that number. If you do not put negative 8 in parentheses before you square it, it's going to put a negative in front of the answer. Okay? The correct answer is positive 64. If you don't put the parentheses, your calculator is going to calculate it as a negative 64, and that's going to mess up your distance. All right, so anytime you square a negative number, you must put parentheses around it like a radical. Okay? All right, so let's practice with the distance formula. 